Okay, so I'm so I'm uh, I'm on alert five. Okay, alert five. You're in the airplane with all your gear on. Alert fifteen. You're in the ready room with your gear on. Alert thirty. You can be in your room. So I'm in alert five. So I'm in the airplane. It's on the catapult. And then we got we get the the announcement on the the big ship thing. Launch the alert five. So we fire up the airplane, and uh, we've got a data link target. It's like up and left about 34 miles away, but at about 23, 26,000 feet, no idea what it is. So we go screaming down, blowers going hard, big left turn. We roll out of the turn and we get a, uh, a target on our TID, our tactical information display. And it's right on, on top of the ship's data link target. So this is a sweet system, everything's working right. I'm thinking, I don't know, some kind of bomber somebody trying to destroy the ship. I really don't know yet, <laughs> but I'm in a Rutowski climb, right? So mm -hmm. we're going to go, uh, we're going to climb in full blower to 22,000. We're going to unload. We're going to get to about Mach 1.2. We're going to pick it up. And then here in the HUD, I, pick, I see this thing coming towards us with blue sky behind it. And it's got a cranked uh, wing form like that. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. And the ship is going crazy. You say, what is it? What is it? So I, I said to my Rio, uh, Ed Miller, the guy was behind me, I said, Ed, I don't know how to say this, but it looks like the space shuttle, dude. Well, <laughs> well the space shuttle hadn't flown yet, but we'd seen pictures of it in mm -hmm. Aviation Week and all that, just like the space shuttle from the bottom. So anyway, I'm, so here I come but, but underneath hook pick the guy up, roll over next to him, perfect intercept. And when, once I get a look at the side of it, you know, I was kind of a James Bond fan. I go, oh no, that's a Vulcan bomber. That's, that's what it awesome. is. But if you think about that cranked wing, yeah. it's just like the space shuttle, you know, from mm -hmm. the bottom. So, so I join up on the guy and it's got that little porthole thing. I finally get his attention. You know, he had no idea I was there. So I go, you know, three, 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 three over UHF chat. So I get him to come up on, on UHF and I said, uh, hey, pal, the, you know, the Nimitz is out there you know, about 12 or 15 <laughs> miles. If you want to go down and do a flyover, I'll call the squadron, and get some cameras out there, and I'll send you the pictures later. And this Brit guy says, oh, I'll just put down my egg sandwich and we'll do that. <laughs> No, you can't make this up. He's up there eating an egg sandwich. He has no idea that he's like seconds from death. You know, I was about to blow him out of the air. He's eating and an egg sandwich. He's eating an egg sandwich, you know. So he goes down. We do some low passes. He goes back to, uh, he was flying out of uh, Lisbon. And uh, so we sent him a bunch of pictures later when we were in uh, Portsmouth later on. But it was so much fun. You know, it was just uh, my adrenaline was huge. So, awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Excuse me. Oh, no. Oh! Fly with the doors off. All fox Don't be a douche. That's rule number one. Make them tell you now.